Thanks for stopping by everyone. My name is Jeff and in today's video we are going to initiate coverage on Tilray stock. Ticker symbol TLRY. They trade on the NASDAQ exchange and their current price is $77.20. So whenever we get on the subject of Tilray stock guys, most people are first going to mention how overvalued the stock is or appears you know and just a few weeks ago Tilray made headlines when it was actually named the best performing stock of 2018 you know far outperforming uh, Twilio its closest competitor it, Tilray went public on July 19th of 2018 at $17 a share and ended the year uh, higher than $70 a share but that article doesn't really even do Tilray justice, guys, okay? So right here, you know, back in July when they IPO'd, you know, Tilray immediately traded up to about the $25 to $30 range, traded in that range uh, for about close to a month. Then right here in the middle of August, guys, that's when the stock took this spectacular burst, you know, trading up well over a 1,000% in just a matter of a few weeks. And Tilray took off, like I said, in about a week, it was trading over $85 a share, and then one one week later uh, actually reached an all-time high of $300 a share and has failed uh, to reach those levels since then you know and to me and everybody else this was such an obvious short sale you know so I'm not making this statement just about Tilray I'm making this statement about any company out there but there is no way a company is gonna jump over a thousand percent of value um, in just a matter of a couple of days you know this stock had a lot of institutional buy-in retail investors were going crazy for the stock and that is really you know so far uh, the story of Tilray. I guess that's how it's going to be remembered, you know, during this period of time. It was the stock that went from $20 to $300 in just a little under two months. Now, like I said, since then, uh, guys, all Tilray has done is kind of rebound a little bit and uh, continue trading down, okay? It's gotten back up. It's recovered itself back to the $167 level. And then, like I said, since then, you know, of course, the entirety of the market has traded down and Tilray has really failed you know to regain you know its gains it's had since then nobody fully understands this stock even me making this video I do not have a complete understanding of Tilray stock other than that even at this $77 level it would still seem uh, it is overvalued now it does seem like the marijuana craze has come to a stop now ever since they uh, legalized marijuana in Canada does not seem uh, like these stocks are getting the massive you know, daily and weekly gains like they were a few months ago. So some of the craze has died down. That's why we got to look at Tilray uh, completely objectively. And ever since, like I said, Aurora Cannabis, Canopy Growth, Tilray, and Free, all these marijuana companies have come to the American exchanges. Unfortunately, uh, they're all going to be graded on earnings reports now and good guidance. So Tilray currently has a market value of $7.19 billion and an enterprise value of $7.09 billion. Now, now do keep in mind when this stock traded up to its $300 level you know it was being valued at almost a $30 billion market cap. So that's why I'm saying uh, there is no way to justify this huge market cap that it had, you know, over the summer. So I think I've heard a lot of people debate, is Tilray a profitable company? What are they doing differently than all the marijuana companies? And guys, I believe the only difference Tilray has in comparison to these other companies is they just don't have very many shares outstanding. Uh, that's why the stock price has ran so hard compared to a CGC or an Aurora and to me there really is no explanation for the massive run-up except just being caught up in the marijuana hype right here guys I got their profitability pulled up they operate at a negative 121 percent profit margin and a negative 114 percent operating margin with no management effectiveness stats uh, to even really show on that then over here guys Tilray is heavily shorted with a 23.8% short percent of float and over a 4% short percent of shares outstanding. So Tilray is very, very heavily shorted. Now Tilray does not pay a dividend, but uh, there is some glimmer of hope here in the income statement. They have an 85.8% quarterly revenue growth. So some people could find a lot of optimism in there. Of course, all these Canadian marijuana companies do have a very high uh, quarterly revenue growth. 
And like I said, all these companies do have the potential to be very profitable. Uh, just keep in mind, they aren't there yet. Then of course, on their balance sheet, they have $118.96 million of total cash and $18.24 million of total debt. That is actually a pretty good ratio. So from that aspect, I would consider Tilray somewhat of a healthy company. So like I mentioned a minute ago, you know, the real key to Tilray surviving and not only surviving, but to hopefully regain their stock price and continue to grow as a company is going to be through earnings, okay? And Tilray's next expected earnings date is February 12th of 2019. Now guys, this is subject to change. I don't believe this here is carved in stone, but you could expect Tilray's next earnings report to come out somewhere around here. <clears throat> now let's go back and look at their last earnings report. Of course, we did do coverage of that here on this channel, but let's take a look at that. Now, of course, this earnings report was from November 13th of 2018, so it's actually a little old now. And Tilray beat by four cents and the revenue came in line. So their quarter three non-gap EPS of minus eight cents, it actually beat by four cents. And then their revenue of 10.05 million came in line. But I do feel uh, like it was very disappointing. I feel like most of all the marijuana companies that reported came in with disappointing earnings. Now, keep in mind, uh, this was before marijuana was legalized in Canada. So I think it's safe to say that we expect earnings to go way up from quarter four of 2018, but I would not uh, guarantee you that and I would not be banking on that because these companies are still uh, so young, they still have a long ways to go to really proving themselves to Wall Street. So I would not assume you know, that Tilray is going to have a big earnings beat um, on the next quarter. And of course, you know, in Q3, their top line was up 85%. Their cash consumption was up 283%. But keep in mind, okay, so these numbers that they are reporting, guys, this is really not the kind of numbers a company with a seven plus billion dollar market cap, you know, should be putting up. These numbers should be a lot bigger. You know, the revenue of $10 million, that should be a much bigger number uh, to kind of coincide with a company that has over a $7 billion market cap. So when you take the fundamental approach to Tilray, guys, I think it is pretty safe to say um, that you should be expecting this stock to trade down further. And then back on the 11th of January, I published this video, guys, about why Tilray stock gained another 20% in one day. And the premise of this video was that Privateer Holdings, which is their biggest shareholder, was not going to be selling uh, their shares of stock on the lockup expiration date, which was January 15th, okay? So now what I want to do, guys, is go look at the stock movement from January 15th. This brings up a couple more puzzling issues with Tilray, because as you will see in a minute the stock did not trade good at all on the 15th so right here guys at the end of the trading day on january 14th tilray was trading at the 102 dollar level okay then on open on the 15th like i said which was their lockup expiration date tilray stock opened at a seven percent loss then as you can see traded down pretty much all day on the 15th and then right here guys uh the stock actually ended with a 13 almost 14 percent loss so again when the news came out that privateer holdings was going to continue to hold their shares of Tilray, you know, the stock run up 20%. So even if you want to look at it from its performance over the past week, Tilray has actually lost 20% of its value. So everything that it gained uh, was lost by the end of this week. So there had to be some institutional sell-off. Like I said, the market has been trading up. You know, the Dow Jones went up almost a thousand points last week and the other indexes were up as well. Uh, but Tilray here, guys, losing 20% of its value. So see, this stock does not trade or perform like a normal stock does. If this stock had any kind of fundamental balance or grip at all, it would be trading with the trends of the stock market. Okay, so as the Dow and the traditional markets are trading up, you know, most of these stocks should be trading with it, you know, but it's not, okay? It's not because like I said, there is still so much negative sentiment and still even at 
you know, a $7 billion market cap, I still think Tilray uh, is very overvalued. And guys, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a buyer here at $77. I really want to wait it out and see what we get on the next earnings report to make any kind of judgment there. But the bottom line, it comes down to this. The marijuana hype is over for now. And these companies are all going to live and die by their earnings reports. Of course, there's other things that can move these stocks. You know, there's acquisitions and buyouts and uh, partnerships with bigger deals. And of course, too, it was recently announced about their partnership with big uh, pharmaceutical company Novartis. But like I said, in the short term, guys, uh, just understand Tilray could go much, much lower. I would not be surprised if it traded down to the $50 level and even perhaps could be lower than that. Like I said, the earnings don't justify the market cap yet. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for today's video. Drop me a comment. Let me know if you are an investor in Tilray or are you short on Tilray? Are you just completely staying away, which I completely understand that. Drop a like on this video. I would really appreciate that. And thanks for watching the video, guys.